Right now, why is anti-Semitism on the rise in Wisconsin, and what are state leaders going to do to about it? Plus, the Wisconsin National Guard at a crisis when it comes to recruitment, the impact that has on emergency readiness. And meet the spellbinding Madison Speller who is preparing to take his skills to Maryland for the Scripps National Spelling Bee. That's all coming up right now at 10. For the seventh consecutive year, anti-Semitic incidents in Wisconsin have increased. It is a trend of hate that since 2015 has risen 494%. As McKenna Alexander explains, it's a state and national issue that has Wisconsin leaders digging into the data. McKenna? Yeah, Jewish leaders in Wisconsin tell me these latest numbers are consistent with, nation, with national data, painting a picture of hate that's only been increasing in recent years. I never thought we would be talking about the physical safety and security of Jewish people in my lifetime. Miriam Rosenzweig is the president and CEO of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. She's also the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors and is one of the many Jewish people experiencing increased hatred. What we're seeing is people speak out loud what they used to whisper. According to the most recent annual audit from the Jewish Community Relations Council of Milwaukee, from 2021 to 2022, there was a 6% rise in anti-Semitic incidents in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, with a 494% rise from 2015. Rosenzweig attributes this partially to the past decade of challenges and the notion that during difficult times, people look for simple solutions. There's a lot of conflict right now, and it all feels existential, um, regardless of which side, side of the aisle you're at. And so I think that kind of environment uh, creates an opportunity for people to feel that they need to blame someone for the challenges that they're having, especially when we're so polarized that it's definitely the other's fault. Another issue at hand is the nature of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism tends to start by punching up. Uh, we go by conspiracy theory. Jews control money, Jews control media, Jews control the world, you know, and it goes into that. And we often dismiss it because on the surface, it looks less harmful than dehumanizing someone in such a vicious way. When it comes to tackling misinformation, conspiracy theories, and hatred toward Jews, Rosenzweig believes education and community engagement is key toward a safer Wisconsin for everyone. But if I only think about the Jewish community, then we have missed the point. Um, we are not strong as a community unless the community around us is strong. We are not strong as a society unless everybody has the opportunity to grow and be strong and um, access the wonderful country that this is. To see the annual audits data in full, just visit our website over on channel3000.com. Thank you, McKenna. Check this out. This mall in Duluth, Minnesota, expected to be closed for some time after heavy snow caused part of its roof to collapse today. The fire department responded to Miller Hill Mall around 9 o'clock this morning. The mall was evacuated and officials are asking the public to stay away at this time. The good news here, no injuries reported. Let's see if there's any more snow on the way for us. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with our first born forecast. I don't think enough to uh, cause uh, mall roofs to collapse, although Duluth is expecting another big winter storm at the end of the week. But around here, take a look at the time lapse from the Queen Bee Radio Skycam at Platteville. Okay. Sun up to sundown, skies were mostly sunny, hardly a cloud to be seen. Uh, just a few cirrus clouds during the afternoon, and that was about it. Beautiful sunset out there. As we check out uh, low temperatures this morning, though, those clear skies, a lot of temperatures are dropping in single digits over much of southern Wisconsin. Madison dropped to 9 degrees, but temperatures were below zero north of the Dells, down to 3 below zero in Camp Douglas. High temperatures today right around freezing from Madison westward to the east. Temperatures stayed in the upper 20s to around 30, and right now temperatures are mainly in the 20s across southern Wisconsin, a little colder in uh, northeastern Wisconsin, but here in Dane County, 27 in Stoughton, 25 in Middleton, 25 in Cross Plains, and 26 for the current temperature in Wanakee. Uh, as we look at uh, our forecast for the overnight hours, look for mostly clear skies. Won't be as cold. Low temperature dropping around 20 shortly after midnight, and then those temperatures starting to rise by tomorrow morning. We'll see milder weather on the way for the next couple of days. I'll tell you how warm it'll get in just a few minutes. New tonight, a former UW grad student is denied bond today and will remain in custody for allegedly making threats against the campus community. Police arrested 32-year-old Arvin Mather at a Detroit area airport and will now be extradited to Wisconsin. He's accused of emailing threats, including threats to kill nine people, mainly UW students, staff, and professors. The Wisconsin National Guard says their force is in jeopardy. Following a nationwide trend, recruitment is facing historic lows. Last year, the 
Guard fell 40% short of its target, and things aren't looking any better this year. Currently, the Wisconsin National Guard is on pace to fall 50% short of its recruitment mission. Army officials say they're using a lot of tactics to bring people in, anything from community outreach in schools to offering more flexibility with drilling schedules and attendance. Developing tonight, a Russian fighter jet hitting the propeller of a U.S. surveillance drone over the Black Sea, causing it to crash into international waters. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby says President Biden was briefed on the incident. In a statement, the U.S. European Command said two Russian fighter jets, quote, conducted an unsafe and unprofessional intercept of a U.S. drone that was operating within international airspace over the Black Sea. In Ukraine, the International Criminal Court is now issuing arrest warrants for several people in response to Russia's invasion. This means for the first time since the invasion began, Russian officials could be facing war crime charges. One case will focus on Russia's unrelenting attacks on civilian infrastructure, including power stations and water supplies. The second will focus on the alleged abduction of Ukrainian children by Russia. Around Wisconsin, a now-retired detective who was featured in the Making a Murderer documentary has lost a defamation lawsuit against Netflix. Today, a judge ruled in favor of Netflix and the filmmakers, concluding that none of them acted with any malice toward Manitowoc County Sheriff's Detective Andrew Colborn. He filed a lawsuit in April 2019, alleging that the documentary defamed him by misquoting his testimony. It is a busy day at the state capitol as assembly lawmakers voted on a number of bills, including mandating police to be in certain schools. The assembly reintroduced the bill that would make schools hire officers if they have a certain number of incidents on school grounds, 100 per semester with 25 resulting in arrests. It'll have a big impact on the Madison and Milwaukee districts with which both voted to eliminate school resource officers. This is the second time legislative Republicans have tried to reintroduce this bill. Last session, it wasn't taken up by the Senate in time. If approved, it'll face an almost certain veto from Governor Tony Evers. President Biden today sending a new executive order with the goal of reducing gun violence. It increases background checks to buy guns and promotes more secure firearm storage. This has the president visited Monterey Park, California, where a gunman stormed a dance hall back in January and shot 20 people, killing 11 following a Lunar New Year celebration. When the time comes, President Biden says he will deliver the eulogy for former President Jimmy Carter. At a fundraiser in California, the president said Carter asked him to do it. The former president began receiving hospice care at his home in Georgia last month. At 98 years old, he's now the oldest living U.S. president in history. In D.C., scandal-plagued House Representative George Santos is running for re-election in 2024. The New York congressman filed the paperwork today with federal regulators. Santos faces federal, local, and congressional investigations into his financial and campaign activities after he was caught in multiple lies about his resume and background. Today in the State Assembly Chamber, the annual State of the Tribes address to a joint session of the Wisconsin Legislature. As Native people, we walk in two worlds, one reflective of modern life and one based on ancient tradition and culture. Robert Van Zyl, the chairman of the Chicago and Chippewa community, called on lawmakers to take action to address threats to public health that disproportionately affect Native Americans in Wisconsin. This includes increasing access to health care on tribal lands, fighting pollution, and ending violence against Native American women. Next tonight, over the weekend, a Madison 7th grader was crowned the top speller in the state. Now he will take his wordsmith skills to Maryland for the Scripps National Spelling Bee in May. Arman Rahman caught up with him. How do you spell Wisconsin's top speller? This year it's... A-I-D-E-N-W-I-J-E-Y-A-K-U-L-A. S-U-R-I-Y-A. Seventh grader Aiden Wijekulasuria brought the Badger State Spelling Bee Trophy back to Blessed Sacrament School this week. <laughs> now the work begins to rep Wisconsin at the Scripps National Spelling Bee in May. My goal for this year is at least to get um, top 50 or maybe into f the semifinals at least, maybe quarterfinals. Uh, but generally, even if I don't, I'll know that I had a good time. Just like a sport, spelling requires targeted training. Being able to recognize especially the, the roots of a word, the origins of the word. He asked, you know, the part of speech of a word. In 400,000 plus words in the dictionary, there's no point in memorizing them all, so. So to give Aiden some practice, I decided he can go up a fifth grade classroom selling bee champion myself 
And um, I don't think there's gonna be much competition, but let's find out. Autobiographer. A U T O B I O G R A P H E R. Tenant. T E N A N T. Tenant. B E R O M E T E R. B A I O M E T E R. Correct. Wow. Envision like I'm typing it on a keyboard almost when I'm spelling. If the word wouldn't look good on a screen, then it probably isn't how it's spelled. The national stage is daunting for him at times, but he's taking it letter by letter. When you're up on stage, nothing else really bad is except for the word you're spelling. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. A school custodian at Park Elementary School in Cross Plains has been named a finalist for the 2023 Custodian of the Year Award. Rodney Esser, who is known as Mr. Peanuts, is in his 58th year with the school. He says before the school was even built, he was farming the land it sits on today. So when it went up in 1961, he came with the land <laughs> and has been working there ever since. And that includes creating many after school programs, helping find jobs for kids and working closely with students who have special needs. Gives me a good feeling that I'm giving back giving back to the, to the kids with that. And uh, I, I like to find a need and see if I can do something about it to make their life better. Well, if he wins the contest, he will be awarded $45,000, him and the school together. And you can find a link to vote for him on channel3000.com. Still ahead tonight, Gary's full forecast, including a look at any more winter storms coming our way. But first, they are some of the most popular vehicles on the road today, but some of the mid-sized SUVs out there are struggling when it comes to backseat safety. We'll have a closer look next. So with a Planet Fitness Black Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy. Everybody knows that you need to glow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Sign up for the PF Black Card for $1 down, $24.99 a month to get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends March 15th. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Right now at the Century House, purchase any Fjords furniture and receive up to 20% off. All models, all sizes, all colors. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic how can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living some people just can't come back and through no fault of their own they're being left behind struggling to keep their heat water and power on if you or someone you know needs a hand up our heat water and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home you may not ask for it but we're here to help two candidates for supreme court two very different beliefs judge janet protasewicz she believes women should have the freedom to make their own decisions on abortion extremist dan kelly he supports the 1849 law that takes away women's rights and criminalizes abortion, even in cases of rape, incest, and health of the mother. So who represents you? An extremist or a common sense judge? Vote by April 4th. So with a Planet Fitness Black Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy? Everybody knows that you need to glow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Sign up for the PF Black Card for $1 down, $24.99 a month to get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends March 15th. This is a star. Chrissy Metz has a hidden talent. I did learn how to do a dolphin noise. Are you ready? Whoa! You think you could call a dolphin? They'd be like, who is that? <laughs> then Euphoria's Nika King. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10.
Welcome back. There are now just 500 days to go before the Summer Olympic Games kick off in Paris. In an unusual move, the opening ceremonies will be held outdoors with up to 600,000 spectators crowding bridges and banks of the River Seine to watch about 10,000 athletes sail past famous landmarks on a nearly four mile river route. Next tonight, more layoffs for the tech industry. Facebook parent company Meta announcing today it plans to lay off 10,000 more workers. This is the second round now of significant job cuts for the tech giant in just four months. Back in November, Meta said it was slashing about 13% of its workforce. The cost of everyday items remains high, but measures to solve the problem could be put on hold because of issues in the banking industry. A new report from Bureau of Labor Statistics shows food prices are up more than 10% in the past year, rents are marching higher too, and utilities like electricity and gas are also more expensive. Overall, inflation increased 6% in February. Historically, it's a big annual increase, but less than the 6.4% number in January. The takeaway from this report is that prices are decelerating, but they remain high. Yeah. The Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates to cool inflation, and Chairman Jerome Powell recently told Congress that more hikes would be coming, but that could temporarily be put on hold due to the recent collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank and New York-based Signature Bank. Here tonight, Amazon is launching a low-cost internet option that uses satellites. The company says Project Kuiper will be fast and affordable. It's designed to serve underserved communities all around the world. No word yet on how much it'll cost though, but the company says affordability is a key principle of the project. Next tonight, an important consumer alert about the safety of mid-sized SUVs that so many families rely on. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is out with its new crash test results with nearly half of the tested models earning its lowest ratings for backseat safety. CBS's Christian Benavides reports. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety sent 13 mid-size SUVs crashing into a barrier at 40 miles per hour. All of them received good marks for protecting the driver in the front seat, but that changed when analysts looked at the back seat. Of the 13 vehicles tested, only four models earned good ratings for protecting rear passengers. That's more or less what we expected. Raul Arbelaez is vice president of the Vehicle Research Center at IIHS and says the team anticipated those results because this is the first time they've analyzed backseat safety in this class. We added this test because we have seen both in real world data and in our crash tests that protection really could be improved in the rear seat. According to the IIHS, the risk for fatal injury is 46% higher for people in the back of the vehicle. It's not that the back seat has gotten more dangerous, but restraint technologies have improved in the front. What is the difference between the protection for the driver than it is for the rear passenger? One of the things we've seen for many years is protection getting better and better for front seat occupants. We've seen airbags and better seat belts and improved structure. He says the safety technology is available to improve the back seat. With advanced seat belts and better placement of say the anchor points of those seat belts, we, we believe that safety really will reach levels that we see in the front seat. The IIHS expects the auto industry to make those changes in future vehicles. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. And Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joins us with your first one forecast. Oh, a cold day today. Lots of mm -hmm. sunshine, though. Tomorrow we'll swap those. We'll get more clouds, but we'll see milder conditions. Let's start out by taking a look at three things you need to know in the forecast. Uh, like I said, uh, we're expecting milder conditions not only for tomorrow, but also for Thursday as well. High temperatures, middle 40s for tomorrow and upper 40s on Thursday. But we'll see rain showers on Thursday. That will change to snow showers Thursday night. And then it's windy and colder with some snow showers or flurries on Friday. But right now, it doesn't look like we'll see much in the way of accumulation. That's because most of the precipitation for our area will be on the warm side of the storm system. Future track from the European computer model beginning at uh, noon on Thursday shows the showers steadily moving through much of southern Wisconsin. So expect a wet afternoon afternoon on Thursday into Thursday evening. Notice by midnight, um, just near the Mississippi River, we start to see a mixture of rain and snow, still mainly rain, light rain showers across the rest of southern Wisconsin. But then as the low pressure system passes by to our north, wind shift around in the north and northwest, the colder air starts to change or mix the rain with snow uh, across the uh, eastern portions of the area to the west, mainly snow. But notice by noon, everything is lifting pretty rapidly to the north and east. We're down to just some scattered flurries or some light snow showers. 
hours, and I think by uh, Friday evening, most of that will be over with. Heaviest snow will be up in the northern portion of the Midwest, uh, perhaps a foot or more of snow through upper Michigan and far northern Wisconsin. But notice, most of southern Wisconsin, less than an inch of accumulation. That'll be mainly late Thursday night into Friday. U.S. computer model, uh, pretty much the same story. It's backed off even here on the snow mounts. Everybody uh, less than an inch from Dane County, south and east, north and west of Dane County, maybe a couple of inches if uh, this, the snow or the rain changes the snow early enough but it's the northern part of Wisconsin that'll get walloped again along with upper Michigan, maybe another foot and a half of snow. But right now, our upper level winds that have been out of the northwest will shift to a more westerly direction. That's milder Pacific air. The storm system that we're watching for the end of the week, bringing heavy rain and snow into California and Nevada and uh, parts of Arizona. That will follow a path uh, through far southern Wisconsin as we head into the latter part of the week. But in the short term, high pressure is located just to our east, and that's keeping our weather pretty quiet. Uh, the temperatures are seasonably cold, uh, but for tomorrow, we'll start out with some sunshine in the morning. It'll turn windy and milder in the afternoon. High temperature topping out at 46, thanks to those brisk southerly winds. Planning your day for tomorrow across Dane County. High 45 in Mount Horeb. 44 in Deerfield, 43 in Sun Prairie. Again, more clouds in the afternoon than in the morning. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, high 46 in Janesville, 45 in La Crosse, and 45 for the high in Baraboo. Future track beginning at noon on Thursday. The rain moves in through much of southern Wisconsin. Notice those temperatures, mild in the 40s. But then as we turn colder later on uh, uh, Thursday night, notice still 40s here at 10 o'clock, but 30s out toward La Crosse. And then as we get cold enough for snow, that's when the bulk of the precipitation heads to the north and east, so we're just left with a little bit of snow and some flurries. As far as rainfall amounts are concerned, probably a quarter to a half inch of rain. This will be mainly Thursday into Thursday evening. Our first warm 7 to 10 day forecast, blustery and cold for St. Patrick's Day Friday, high only 31. Some snow showers or flurries, even a few flurries on Saturday with a high of 28. And then temperatures go right back up, so by the middle of next week, we're looking for highs around 50, some rain showers Thursday and Friday. And coming up in sports, it's round six between Wisconsin and Minnesota. Why Britta Curl says she'll be out for blood at the Frozen Four. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay, with AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. Two candidates for Supreme Court, two very different beliefs. Judge Janet Protasewicz, she believes women should have the freedom to make their own decisions on abortion. Extremist Dan Kelly, he supports the 1849 law that takes away women's rights and criminalizes abortion, even in cases of rape, incest, and health of the mother. So who represents you? An extremist or a common sense judge? Vote by April 4th. You've got places to be, things to do, goals to crush. So at Basecamp Fitness, we pack 50 minutes worth of calorie burn into just 35. How do we do it? By switching between 60 second intervals of air bike cardio and strength training to keep the workout and your progress moving forward fast, no matter what level you're at. Take a free class, join, and get a $100 Lululemon gift card through March 31st. Visit any of our three Madison locations or Basecamp Fitness Com. Now's the time to save on big projects. Hurry into Menards for 11% off everything. Get 11% off easy flooring updates for your home. Find your style and save 11% on Patriot Lighting. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a new kitchen. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save with 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with Access Checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. Oh. 
Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. <laughs> Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay. With AAA auto insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance too. Switch and save on AAA auto insurance and expect something more. For the first time since 1929, Wisconsin is welcoming Bradley to Madison. In their last trip here 94 years ago, the two played each other at the Red Gym. The Badgers won that game by 26 in what the State Journal described it as a good, clean evening of fun. This time around, it's at the Cole Center in the first round of the NIT, and it was a Stephen Kral show. Big Steve scored 19 in the first half. Last check of it, he's up to 32 points. If UW holds on, they'll host Liberty on Sunday. The Wisconsin women will make the five-hour trek to Duluth tomorrow after practice. Thursday, they'll have their team skate. And then Friday, it's time to drop the puck at the Frozen Four. The Badgers will face off against their biggest rivals in the Gophers in their sixth meeting between the two this season. And just when you thought the series couldn't get any bigger, well, the two are playing on college hockey's biggest stage for a spot in Sunday's final. It makes a big game even bigger, and I think that's exciting, um, especially when you've played someone so many times. There's a really small margin for error, so it kind of pushes both teams to be better, and I think uh, anytime you get to play a knockout game with Minnesota, it's like you're out for blood, and it's really cool. This is game six, and it's probably going to be like the other five. I mean, it's, uh, it comes down to, you know, who's going to play better under the circumstances. It's NCAA Championship Week for the Wisconsin wrestling team, and the eight Badgers who qualified for the national tournament are already on their way to Tulsa, including Austin Gomez. The 149-pounder needed an at-large bid to get into the March Madness tourney after a performance at the Big Tens that he had that wasn't so great. Gomez enters as the 15th seed in his bracket, but his head coach, Chris Bono, isn't worried. He's coming off that injury. Uh, you know, he thought it was going to be easy. He thought everybody would lay down, and, you know, it, it, it's a wrestling match. It's a fight, and he understands that now, and um, the, the, the kid can win the national tournament, right? It doesn't matter where his seed's going to be and all that. He is one of the best kids in the tournament. Aaron Rodgers to the Jets is becoming more and more likely as each hour passes. The latest is that number 12 has a wish, wish list of free agents he'd like New York to sign, and it seems... They're doing everything they can to cross off those names. Alan Lazard was at the top of the list. He's already got a deal. The former Packer wideout signed a four-year, $44 million deal with the Jets. The other names ESPN is reporting on Rodgers' list, Randall Cobb, Mercedes Lewis, and Odell Beckham Jr. Rodgers himself will be on the Pat McAfee Show tomorrow for what we hope is an announcement. We're back after this. Stanton Optical independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Sexual assault of an 11-year-old. No prison time. He raped a military veteran. Left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14-year-old. Probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Protasiewicz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Protasiewicz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Protasiewicz, stop protecting criminals. Planning a remodel? Don't toss your cabinets, furniture, and appliances. Donate to Habitat Restore. Your items stay out of landfills while proceeds create housing solutions for hardworking families. Build a stronger community with Habitat Restore of Dane County. Clean, safe, fun. I wanted it all when we needed daytime care for mom. A Grace's new adult day center is so nice. Now she goes twice a week while I'm at work and loves it. A Grace, caring every step of the way. 
Brothers Maine has been family owned since 1938. Some of us were born into this family and others chose to join through the years. Now, we know you can't replace family, but you can replace appliances and Brothers Maine is here for you when one breaks down. Our in-house team has delivered ranges to washers, to refrigerators, to hectic households in a pinch, oftentimes the next day. Just because an appliance breaks down doesn't mean you have to. We're not Big Box, we're Brothers Maine. And we want you to feel like family here. Like, yeah, yeah. we so amazing. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS. Like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So captivating. You don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, crowd go crazy. the RS family of Chevy SUVs. Definitely worth a follow. Well qualified buyers get 2.9% financing on all 2023 Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. Remember this, and this, and the false selector scheme. In Wisconsin, extremist Dan Kelly was the right-wing lawyer behind the scenes of it all. The bipartisan January 6th commission revealed Kelly advised Trump operatives as special counsel to overturn the will of the people and overthrow the election results. Kelly even went on tour promoting the big lie. On April 4th, vote like democracy depends on it, because it does. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. State Supreme Court debate, March 21st at 4 p.m. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Well, Gary's back, final check in the forecast. A little chilly out there, but not too bad. The winds aren't very brisk. Uh, there's the live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. Current temperatures, 27 in Madison, 27 in Janesville, 24 in the Dells. A little colder to the north and east. Notice 22 in Juneau and 20 in Fond du Lac. Across Dane County right now, 25 in Deerfield, 23 in Verona, and 22 for the current temperature in Mount Horeb. Look for mostly clear skies overnight. Temperatures mid-20s by morning, and then we'll see more clouds in the afternoon tomorrow, but our high temperature getting up to 46. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.